Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I do have some new makeup products, like I've got um, the new Rimmel foundation, I've got the new Benefit palette thingy, I've got the new Beauty Bay uh, kind of like glowy gel highlighter things. I've got a few new products, but I also thought I would make it a little bit more interesting and include some questions in here because I personally really enjoy these types of videos. I enjoy watching them from other people because you get to know more about them and I really like trying to share more of my personality and myself with you guys. Um, obviously not like absolutely everything, but I just quite like these like chatty sort of videos where you guys answer me, where you guys ask me questions and I answer them. I asked for some questions on Instagram. There is some juicy ones in here and I'm gonna do my makeup and answer these at the same time. So I hope you enjoy. So I'm just starting with the Revolution Hydration Boost moisturizer and I'm just gonna put this all over my face. So the first question is, when do you think you will move out of your parents' house and would you get any pets? Um, I am actually finally starting to kind of look into this more and my goal is to move out like maybe the end of this year or beginning of like 2020 um, because I know that it can be quite a long process so I can't just like instantly move into somewhere. I would love to move out definitely within the next year. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Would I get any pets? Yes, I think I would get a dog. I definitely want a dog at some point just because being at home all day by myself uh, can be very lonely and I think a dog would help keep me company. Then I'm just priming my face with the Ofra Cool as a Cucumber Primer. Then for my foundation, concealer and powder, I've got the new Rimmel Lasting Radiance Collection. I think this is like the kind of reformulated healthy, no, what was it called? Wake Me Up foundation that they used to do. Um, so I've got the shade Light Porcelain and then I've also got the shade Porcelain. To be honest, both of these look quite dark. I think I'm gonna go with this one because I feel like it'll match my body a little bit more, which is Porcelain. That's definitely not porcelain though. And then in the concealers, I've got these shades 030 Classic Beige and 010 Ivory. I think I'm gonna go for Ivory because it's a bit lighter. And then I've also got this, which is the Lasting Radiance Finishing Powder, which is also in Ivory, but it looks kind of dark. There was also another question that said, why haven't you moved out yet? Um, mostly just because it's expensive and I don't really want to rent. Um, at the moment I'm like saving to move out and like get a deposit on somewhere just because while I can live with my parents and save as much money as I can, it just makes sense to kind of do it that way. Save as much money as I can and do it that way rather than um, renting somewhere because obviously when you rent you don't actually own anything, you're just like paying money to a landlord. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna do it that way. That's what I'm trying to do at the moment. For ages, I haven't felt like I was ready to move out. Now I'm feeling like I'm ready to move out, but I'm still just trying to save, you know, enough money to cover everything. And also I'm not exactly sure where I want to live yet. So I'm still just like doing loads of research and I've got to like have loads of meetings with like mortgage advisors and all that kind of like adulty stuff. And I don't really know what I'm doing, so. It will take a while, I think. Okay, this is a good colour for me while my tan's kind of wearing off, but like, this is definitely not porcelain. This is really dark and it's extremely glowy. It's got like tiny glitter particles in it. My skin looks nice. I would say this is kind of like a medium coverage, but it's extremely dewy as you can see. Okay, so who is your boyfriend and how did you meet your boyfriend? Um, this concealer literally will not open. I just generally had loads of questions about him um, and when will your new boyfriend be on camera? So just to give you a little bit more information, obviously like I'm not fully comfortable sharing everything because I would like to keep that more private, um, but he's not a YouTuber. A lot of people have been asking me that question. He's just a normal boy. <laughs> he's actually best friends with one of my um, kind of like family friends that I've known all of my life. So I'd met him once before and then we actually ended up matching on Tinder because my friends pretty much like forced me to download Tinder. Well, they didn't force me, I did it voluntarily. But they were encouraging me to download Tinder when I went to visit them at uni one time. Um, and we ended up matching on Tinder and obviously I knew him already and I already knew that he was a really nice boy. When I'd met him the first time, I thought he was really lovely. And then yeah, we basically just started talking on there for a while, we then started talking on WhatsApp and then we went on a few dates. Well, we went on loads of dates actually. <laughs> and seeing each other and then eventually it turned into like an actual relationship. So that's how we met, just for people that are curious curious and um, people saying when will I show him on camera like at the moment I'm not comfortable with that he's not comfortable with that um, so I don't think it will be anytime soon I'm sorry for those of you that are like really curious to see him but yeah like I'm just gonna keep that private for a while not not for a while that concealer is it also kind of like a medium coverage okay let's go in with the powder this seems like it's gonna be way too dark 
Uh, okay, yeah, that powder's literally orange. Oh my god. It's also got glitter in it. I'm just gonna go in with my Revlon one instead because that's really not working out for me. <laughs> okay, I don't mind the foundation and concealer if I was going for something more natural, but I don't like this powder because it's actually glittery. I'm gonna try and brighten that up a bit with my MAC Studio Fix. <laughs> Hopefully that kind of did something, I don't know. So the next product is this by Benefit. They've got two new palettes, which are called the Cheek Leaders. This is the Pink Squad. They've also got one called Bronze Squad. Um, but this is the one that I got. This was um, sent to me and it looks absolutely beautiful. This highlighter looks so pretty, but I think it might be a bit dark. In the Bronze Squad, they've got a more like golden highlighter. This one's more of like a rose gold. But I'm gonna use the bronzers from this. So they've got Dallas and Hula. I've never actually tried Dallas, is that new? Next question is, do you think Zoella deserves all the controversy and hate? Honestly, no, I don't think she does. Um, I know that there was a lot of like drama around her and her advent calendar scandal. Um, but just from being in this industry, like I genuinely, like, I do feel sorry for her, and I know that a lot of people won't agree with me on this, but there definitely is a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that sometimes we can't control, and then you can't really talk about it because you might be under contract that you can't talk about certain things and make a company look bad or whatever. Um, so even though she is, like, part of Zoella Beauty, I do actually genuinely believe her explanation video, um, and sometimes you can't fully explain things um, because, you know, you might get sued. I don't know, there's definitely a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that people can't talk about and then it makes you look like a bad person. So I honestly, I don't think she deserves all of the, uh, the hate that she gets for that. I know it was bad, like the situation was not good at all and I'm not saying that it was a good situation at all. Um, but yeah, on the other, like, kind of side of it, I don't think it was entirely her fault and I do think that she doesn't deserve all the hate for it because she seems like a really nice girl and I feel kind of sorry for her. How is your new love for fake tan going? Um, well, by the way, I'm just using the, I just used the Dallas bronzer and now I'm using the Dandelion blush, which is so pretty. Um, so I have been trialing some fake tans recently. Oh my God, my face is now way darker than my body. That looks ridiculous. Um, I tried this one, which is the Saint-Tropez uh, bronzing water gel, which actually smells really nice. And the only thing that I wasn't too keen on about this one is you can't see where you've applied it because it is clear, but it was really easy to apply and it smells nice and it was a nice color as well. And um, the one that I actually prefer slightly is this one, which is the Vita, Liber Vita Liberata two to three week tan mousse in medium. This one is not very dark, but it is like buildable. So you can reapply it a couple of times if you want to get darker, um, which I did do when I was in Miami. And I find that this fades so nicely like I've still got the tiniest bit on at the moment I know it doesn't really look like it but like it fades so nicely it doesn't go like streaky or like cracked like it's just really nice um I'm almost out of this so I'm gonna get a new one okay beauty bay let's try these new cream highlighters these are six pound fifty each and they're like the they're called living my best light jelly glow highlighters the only thing is the packaging is a bit fiddly like i can never get the lid back on straight galaxy glow is this kind of pinkish toned one sunbeam surprise and it's kind of like a champagne gold sort of color it's like a smushy kind of gel cream i'm just gonna take a tiny bit on my finger and just like dab it off on the back of my hand and then i'm scared so the next question is how to get pr and I guess this kind of links with this video because um, a lot of this new stuff that I'm trying is has been sent to me on PR. Um, my honest answer to this is you can't just randomly get PR if you don't kind of like have a larger, large-ish following. And I know that's really like frustrating, but it's literally all about advertising. Companies will want to send products to people that have got like bigger followings. Like companies want to send PR products um, to people that have got a following so that they can kind of like advertise it and get the name out there and it's basically kind of like free advertising i mean not so much free in that they have to actually send out the product to the person but like they don't have to pay them because they might like mention it just out of their kind of excitement over the product i guess i think i got my first pr package when i maybe had about 10,000 followers on instagram i wish there was a way that everyone could just get free stuff like obviously that would be great um and i'm so incredibly grateful like for any brand that like sends me anything like it's amazing 
but you do have to like unfortunately have some sort of following otherwise it kind of wouldn't benefit the brand so they wouldn't send it out if you get what I mean I like this highlighter it's pretty um, and it kind of dries down to like a powder so I'm just going in with my Topshop um, brow gel in the shade Chase something I would suggest though like if you are looking to grow your Instagram um, is to be as consistent as you possibly can if you you know if you're a makeup Instagram account try and do a variety of looks post as often as you can make sure that you're using hashtags and tagging in the brands that you've used in the picture so that they will kind of notice you um, so obviously brands can see that you're using their stuff and then maybe they will want to send you stuff um, to kind of promote it if you have like a decent following I guess um, but yeah I, I just would say consistency is key and obviously having good quality photos and videos and everything as well is kind of important too because people are going to want to see like good quality stuff but I think I don't know a lot of people these days seem to just want to do Instagram and YouTube just to get PR stuff I think it doesn't really work that way around because you kind of have to be passionate enough about it to actually be consistent um, and if you're just doing it to get the free stuff then I think you'll just end up not sticking to it and it just won't work because you're not actually excited about what you're creating I don't know I got so many questions like this do you like Anastasia and Saffron do I actually like them do I have beef with Saffron because we weren't really in each other's Miami vlogs um no like people seem to think that when you don't put people in your vlogs that you don't get along um but I really like Anastasia and Saffron I've just been on a trip with them um I'm definitely closer to Anna just because she's been to my house we filmed a collab together and I do talk to her more and I don't know Saffron as much which is also why I don't feel as comfortable putting her in my vlogs but like we do still like each other I don't have any sort of issue with her it's just the fact that like I am a bit closer to Anna just because we filmed together before and I got to know her better um but like there's no beef or anything and yes I do actually like both of them and then going in with my extra spice palette and I think I'm gonna go for a kind of greenish sort of look today because why not let's do something a bit different I'm gonna take the shade lakes which is this one someone has said do you wish you'd gone to uni and I got quite a lot of questions saying do you think you'll go to uni and all of this kind of stuff um I think some of you must be new because I did actually go to uni um I did an art foundation course and then I did one year of graphic design but I then ended up dropping out because I got offered my job with revolution and my youtube channel was starting to kind of like really take off to the point where I couldn't do both at the same time like one of them had to go and I decided that I was gonna drop out of uni and I was gonna do distance learning and finish my degree from home because I only had two years left um, but I just ended up getting too busy and I never actually went back to uni but do I wish I'd gone to uni I guess like do I wish I'd stayed at uni honestly no because I wasn't actually enjoying it so much of our learning was just learning from YouTube tutorials which is so stupid and yeah like in all honesty I don't think it was worth the money but that was just me personally um I know that loads of people like l all of my friends are at uni and they love it and they have loved it and they're doing a masters um so yeah it's literally completely different for everyone <laughs> and the sun has come out and they're going in with cookie dough and I'm gonna blend out the edges oh and then somebody said did I commute uh, to uni every day and did I find it manageable yeah I actually lived at home when I was at uni I didn't move out um which was just kind of like my own personal choice because at the time I definitely did not feel ready to move out um of home because I still had a lot of like anxiety issues um but yeah I don't regret doing that actually I think everyone's different and I never had really been that interested in moving out to go to university I still am not that bothered at the fact that I didn't live with a load of random people like I don't know I quite like having my own space <laughs> but I would say that I did find it harder to make friends because obviously I wasn't living with people and all the people that kind of lived together ended up making friends with each other so do you still work with revolution haven't seen you on their Instagram as much um so actually just to explain this by the way I'm going in with the shade Aurora and I'm just going to put this on the center of my lid um yeah so just to explain this I don't actually like work with them in terms of social media stuff anymore my contract ended at the end of february i've still got a couple more bits which are yet to go up on their youtube channel and their instagram and stuff um but yeah i decided not to renew my contract with them but the only reason for that is just because it was getting too busy because i had a whole schedule that was for like their channels um and for their instagram and stuff like that um and it was quite a lot of stuff that i don't know i kind of felt like it was all just getting a bit too much 
on top of my own channel stuff um, and like I was missing deadlines for them and stuff and I was being really annoying and they probably have hated me for the past few months because I haven't been keeping on top of everything very well and so I just kind of decided that as my contract was ending it was probably for the best that I didn't renew it so I'm not actually like officially part of their kind of like vlogger team squad um, at the moment but like I'm sure I will still continue to like work with them in the future and obviously I've still got my products with them and stuff and I had like the most amazing it was actually two years that I was working as part of that team um, and it was amazing like just to have that opportunity genuinely changed my life so I'm so grateful to them for that um, and I'm sure I will continue to like do stuff with them in the future in terms of like I don't know maybe like a video or Instagram post here and there but in terms of actually like my official stuff that is ended now but my products are still there that's not changing by the way this brush is the one that came in the naked cherry palette but it's actually a really good brush how's your mental health at the moment I hope everything is okay sending a hug either way oh thank you I'm sending a hug to you too and anyone out there that is like struggling at the moment I'm sending you a massive hug my mental health at the moment is actually the best that it's ever been in terms of, I mean, like, I've never really struggled with, like, depression or anything, um, but in terms of my anxiety, it's honestly been so much better recently, and I've been doing so much more stuff that I never used to do. I mean, I'm definitely, like, by no means fully better, um, and I do, there are some things that I do still struggle with, but, like, these days, I'm always going places by myself, um, I'm going on planes, I'm going on trains, I'm going to London on the regular, I'm going on the tube, like walking around places by myself, all of those things I never used to do, okay, I did sometimes occasionally do the trains and planes thing, but it was a very rare occasion and I hate it. <laughs> but now, oh my god, I am so much better, which is amazing. How long have you been seeing your secret boyfriend? Um, I'm just going in with the shade every day. We have been speaking since October and we've been officially together since December, as in like boyfriend and girlfriend. I'm gonna use the Benefit Roller Liner in brown just to do something a little bit different. Someone has said, how much can you earn as an influencer? Can it cover all expenses? Um, all your expenses. So like the reason that I don't talk specifically about how much money I make is because like a lot of the time when you do deals with brands, you sign a contract to say that you won't talk about how much money you've made, which I think is kind of understandable because they don't want people to disclose that information. It definitely completely varies depending on the amount of followers you have, the amount of sponsorships you do, the amount of views you get on your videos and the amount that your AdSense uh, kind of gets you because everyone's AdSense is different. Like depending on your following, some people earn very little money, um, some people earn a crap ton of money. But yeah, I definitely think that for a lot of people it is like a good earning career. I mean like for me, it definitely, well I mean I don't really have any expenses because I live with my parents but it definitely is enough to cover all expenses and everything like that. It is my only job um, and I'm very lucky to call it my job but yeah it really depends from person to person and from month to month as well but you definitely can make a really good living out of it. But I definitely think that in America, um, American influencers seem to earn a lot more. I'm not too sure why that is. I'm pretty sure the first kind of like major sponsorship that I had was, I think I had a about 130,000 subscribers maybe. And I think I did a sponsorship for an app, which was for 400 pounds, which was like an inclusion in a video. The first big job I remember being like really excited about because it was like my first big job was doing 10 videos, like short videos for um, a company and that was for a thousand pounds. Um, and that was two, three years ago, maybe. So I'm gonna use the Mascara Revolution. Somebody has said, how many brand deals do you reject compared to the ones you actually do? I actually went back through my emails and wrote this down. So this is just since the beginning of 2019. So between January and March. So just through uh, my management team, cause they basically will try and get me brand deals and offer me brand deals and I can turn them down or accept them. Um, I also get emails from a load of random companies, which I don't really check, but just from the ones that my management have offered me. I've been offered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I have taken on one, two, three, three of them. So I had a sponsorship with Claire's where we went to Disney. Um, at the very beginning of January, which was obviously amazing. Was not gonna turn that one down because 
Disney. <laughs> I've also done a sponsorship with Just Eat on my Instagram and I did quite a few of those last year um, because again, why would I turn that down? I freaking love Just Eat. I love food, I love pizza, I love Papa John's. And um, yeah, that was probably one of my most favorite sponsorships that I've ever done. And then I also did a sponsorship with Revlon for their Color Stay Foundation, which is one of my favorite foundations. So again, why would I turn it down? Um, so yeah, so those are the ones that I've taken on. And then obviously I did go with Motel Rocks to Miami, but that wasn't technically sponsored because we weren't paid. It was just like the trip, which I mean was still incredible. And I'm so lucky to have been able to go on that trip. For my lips, I'm gonna try this Lottie London um, lip liner in the shade Squad. Oh no, I think this is gonna be too light. Uh-uh. Oh well, let's do it anyway. I was hoping it would be a bit darker than my natural lip colour. It's really pigmented though. Um, if you were to have a boob job, what size would you get? So, I have mentioned quite a few times recently on Twitter that I've really been debating getting a boob job and I'd really love to do it, but I'm just scared of all the complications like breast implant illness and also I think there's a certain type of cancer that is very rare but you can develop like some people have developed from having boob implants but then I don't know if that's been like fully proven or not I don't know I've just been freaking myself out with all these different facts but then at the same time I just think so many millions of people have had it done and have had no complications um but anyway that's a bit of a sidetrack uh if I was to get them done this is the thing loads of people are like no you don't want big boobs they give you backache I don't want big boobs I still want small boobs I just want maybe like a full B cup or a C cup. That's it. I don't want like massive boobs. I just want my boobs to be like a little bit bigger. Cause like at the moment in this top, I'm wearing a push up bra and like there's nothing to even push up. So finally for my lip gloss, I'm gonna test the Iconic London lip gloss in Nearly Nude. This question says, are you and Sam still friends? Uh, not really. Like I wouldn't say we're friends, like we don't speak anymore, but we're also not enemies, like we're still civil with each other. And like, I don't think we have any like bad feelings towards one another, but like there's just no reason for us to speak, if that makes sense. And he wasn't part of my like current friend group, so I'd never see him anyway. So yeah, we're not friends, but we're also like, we're still civil, if you get what I mean. The final question is, was Nikki Tutorials nice in person? Uh, I don't think I've answered this question before, but yes, honestly, she was super lovely in person. Um, she was really friendly towards me. I was so nervous to meet her because <laughs> like, it's kind of like a well-known thing that I've looked up to Nikki Tutorials as an inspiration for like quite a few years. Um, so I was so nervous to meet her, but she was so nice to me and so kind. And she just seemed like a really nice person. Um, okay, this lip combo is actually really nice, but the lip gloss is tingling. I think it's like a plumping gloss, but I actually kind of like the feeling of it. It is like a tiny bit sticky. Actually, no, not really. I think the brown eyeliner actually looks quite nice. So those are all of the questions that I'm gonna answer. I hope you guys have found this video interesting. If you want me to like continue to do these types of videos, please let me know. Um, I hope you found out a bit more about me and thank you to those of you that sent in questions. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. If you aren't already subscribed, I would love it so much if you subscribed. Remember to give this a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.